Hey guys, I have some very exciting progress to show today, namely the complete PC functionality. We'll get to the cool games in a moment, but first, a quick display of the different floppy drives and the ability to configure the computer in any combination of both drives. As you probably noticed, we have some of my favorite adventure games represented by virtual floppy disks, each with its own label and color. We'll start off with the excellent Day of the Tentacle. We'll insert it simply by dragging it near the appropriate drive. As soon as we do this, Memory gives DOSBox the order to mount the folder which is associated with this disk, and the display automatically updates to show us the content of the disk. Once we are fed up with Death the Tentacle, which never happens, we can eject the disk and Memory proceeds to unmount it. Here we have another favorite, Sam and Max hit the road. We could stick it into the drive in the same manner and play. The software that is in charge of capturing screenshots of the emulator and sending it mount commands is called the Memory Bridge. And during the injection of the command, the virtual screen is not refreshed in order to mask the mounting operation, to give a more streamlined feel. We've saved the best for last, the first of probably the best adventure game series of all times, Monkey Island. We'll try not to bang the disk against the computer too hard, but hey, it's just virtual, right? Close the handle and we're all set! Since the computer has two drives, we can have two disks inserted and mounted at the same time. And of course, we can modify the data inside each disk. So, that's it for now. Next up, I think I'll start working on some game consoles. Thanks for watching!